Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to be showing you today how to encrypt a USB drive, a uh, flash drive, whatever you want to call it. So you just want to go to Google and Google search TrueCrypt. You can go to, or you can just go to TrueCrypt.org. Um, and you can either click on downloads, but I don't know if you want to go through it manually to see if it's legit, I guess. Then you can just go to the main page and then go to downloads. I don't know. Uh, and choose whichever version is applicable to you. Uh, obviously mine is Windows, Windows 7. So I already downloaded it, just an exe file. Uh, so it's on my desktop and right here. So I'm just going to click on this. You can just go ahead and save a shortcut to your desktop because it makes it a lot quicker when you want to access your USB in the future. And uh, Alright, so this is TrueCrypt, and I'm going to be explaining some of this stuff later and in the description bar, I guess. But um, just choose whichever USB because everything is going to be deleted on it. It's going to be pretty much just formatted. So choose a USB that you don't mind getting everything off of, and I'll be right back when I mount it. Alright, I'm back and I mounted everything. Uh, got my USB plugged in. And there you see it's removable disk F. It's only like 120 some megabytes. Because it's not the one that I use, so I don't mind if it gets formatted. So you're just going to uh, create a volume once you have your USB plugged in. And then go to uh, encrypt a non system partition flash drive because that's how you. Uh, that's how you encrypt a flash drive. So you're just gonna click next, then you're gonna want to go to standard true clip true crypt volume and next. So then you're gonna want to select your device and just go to removal disk down here and I'll say which drive it's in and the size of it so just you need to double check. And then uh, never save history should be checked and you're just gonna want to click check. Um, do create encrypted volume and format it because it just works a lot easier if you just format it. Just save it backups to your uh, to your desktop or something. And the out encryption algorithm doesn't really matter. It's all your it, all the settings are as is. Uh, should be good. And then that's all good. Just make sure it's all uh, the right size. And you're gonna want to choose a volume password. Um, obviously you don't have to enter what I enter. It'd be kind of dumb to enter what I enter. And uh, so just go ahead and do whatever you want. And the possible length is up to 64 characters. So uh, if you wanted to, like type out like a whole sentence or something so that nobody could get in your flash drive or, or get it. But uh, so I'm just actually going to change the password here because I'm going to have to log or I'm going to have to enter the password in a second. I don't want to uh, have to do that. And it's just saying short passwords are easy to crack. And file system is uh, FAT, so that's all good, and that's code. So you're gonna want to go down to format, click on it, and it's just saying how everything will be erased. So, and if you want to before this, then back everything up. And this is, I'll be right back once this is almost done. All right, it's about done. As you see, it only has a couple seconds left, and then uh, this is just saying that it can't be. Uh, access using the letter drive F uh, unless you want to unencrypt it which I'll tell you about in a second but uh, it's just saying that you can't use letter uh, the letter F for the drive and it's just gonna say that's been successfully created click exit because you don't need to do another one and uh, you can just go to auto mount devices make sure your USB is plugged in and I'll just read whatever is plugged in and just enter your password. I'm just going to click display password here to show you guys just the password that you entered a little bit ago. Click OK. And you're going to see it's just going to auto mount it to, well, any random drive, I think, but this one shows N. And I'm going to show you here. See how there is removable disk F and uh, local disk N. You want to use the local disk one because if you use removable disk F then it's gonna ask you to format it and then that you lose the encryption then. So if you want to unencrypt it, just uh, click on the removable disk and format and you just click on it and dismount. That's how you uh, take it off. And then if you want to manually mount it, 
just follow this really quick. You select device, highlight whichever drive you want, then click uh, mount, and type in your password. Okay, and there you go. It's mounted, and uh, you can access it from there. You can choose any one that you want. As you see, it just uh, recognized on there. So again, you want to use the local disk, not the removable disk, because the removable disk will uh, ask you to format it, and if you format it, you lose your uh, your encryption, and that's also how you get rid of an encryption. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, just ask any questions, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.